scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast. Yes, it's another car cast and I just wanted to share with you something I've just listened to. The Island of Dr. Moreau, part of the Big Finish Classic series. Now, everyone knows that hope that they're doing this great H.G. Wells thing at the moment. We've had the shape of things to come. Remarkably good. We started with The Invisible Man. Superb. The story that I've always had an issue with from H.G. Wells' back catalogue is the island of Dr. Moreau. Because, let's face it, it's a bit thin as far as plot-wise concerned. A man gets washed up on an island. On the island is a strange scientist who's been shunned by UK government and society. Eventually, this person finds out what's going on. That's about it. There is mystery, but as we all know the plot, the mystery's not huge. Now, also, there's been some particularly great storytelling with this range so far. The unexpected highs of The Shape of Things to Come. The interesting narrative choices made with... Well, how you tell the stories when it comes to The Invisible Man. All particularly great. But this, this is the one that feels the most like a Radio 4 drama. This would not feel out of place for even a second as a Radio 4 drama. And you can be rightly proud of that. If you've been interested in H.G. Wells' work then this is definitely up there. Of course, the problem with an updated version is, well, is that, not to put too fine a point on it, the science involved is a bit pants. Yes, there are very evocative things in this story, things like the House of Pain, which indeed sounds like, well, a slightly dodgy nightclub, or something you'd see in Fifty Shades. But yes, the House of Pain is, well, exactly what you think. Now, the story of a madman who wants to turn animals into people, it's been covered elsewhere. A modern, updated version would be Chimera, uh, written by the same guy who, anyway, it doesn't matter. Was it Stephen Lawhead? Stephen Laws either way very good but how do you turn an animal into a person yes I know we end up dealing with the things that science fiction does best we end up dealing with the concept of laws of morals of religion all themes that exist with throughout H.G. Wells' work you know that they're going to be examined and gone into But the niggly thing in the back of your head is the science. They're not being bred. They're not genetically altered. There is talk of something to do with research on cancer and, well, blood. So perhaps early DNA experimentation. You have to remember that Wells is of a time that led to eugenics and the like. Obviously not believing in such things. The characters may be atheists... But their language and use of things, you see, they stay with you. And that's the mark of good storytelling. Something that stays with you and niggles at your conscience. Perhaps the story is a little thin on the ground, but for its time, it was groundbreaking. The reason that we're so familiar with it is that the story ideas have been repeated time and time again. 
So perhaps it's not as strong as some of its friends. But trust me, as an anti-meat message, this has got more power and more punch than a dodgy video shown at a Morrissey gig in the middle of one of the songs. It will make you think, but it'll also give you something to enjoy. So with that, I'll play you the trailer and let you decide for yourself. Because after all, are we not men? Be seeing you. On the 2nd of September 2017, Hooverville 9 will be with us. William Russell, the man who was Ian Chesterton and still is on Big Finish. Carol Ann Ford, Susan, the Doctor's granddaughter. Nicola Bryant, Perry. Toby Haydock, DVD Extras Man and everyone's favourite racist barman. Jessica Martin, Fraser Hines, ah Jamie. Phil Ford, Michael Pickwood, Philip Hinchcliffe and Matthew Dale are just some of the names will be appearing at Hooverville, the biggest little Doctor Who convention ever. Visit hooverville.org to get tickets. See you then. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions, the island of Dr Moreau. We're sinking! You were picked up in a boat. Very nearly dead. Montgomery's the name. Brendick, I take it you know the destination of this vessel? The island ahead of us, where I live. So far as I know, it hasn't a name. I'm itching to get to work with this new stuff. First, the problem of an uninvited guest. What do you propose we do with him? We certainly can't take him into our confidence just yet. Those things are an abomination. To this day, I have never troubled about the ethics of the matter. <laughs> yes, we have him now. He's heading for the Cape. We might pin the wretched brute into a corner of the island. What were those things? Were they beast or were they man? Grotesque-looking creatures. Evil are the punishments of those who break the law. None escape. Damn you! Must I lock you up and throw away the key? Never! Thank God, Prendick. The brute's loose. We must go after him. Oh, God. Keep away! I'm warning you! Big Finish. We love stories. That was the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast, available on iTunes, YouTube, Twitter, RSS, Vimeo, and across the internet. Doctor Who and its associated properties are all copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Why not become a supporter by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog? Contact the show on tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. <laughs>